Good morning, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Singapore Air Show 2024. And we are here with Tom Coleman, the chairman of Coleman Worldwide, who's also the organizer of the U.S. Partnership Pavilion, the biggest pavilion at the show here. Welcome, Tom. Wonderful to have you here. Great to have you uh, as well, Sajita. Uh, sorry about the noise, but this is a trade show and uh, lots of activity, lots of sales taking place. Uh, I'm very proud to say that this is the 40th year uh, that Coleman Worldwide has been uh, participating in an event here in Singapore. My father before me was uh, organized the U.S. Pavilion at the Asian Aerospace Show in 1984. So this is uh, uh, the U.S. Pavilion around you. It's got 105 U.S. firms. There's 150 in the entire show. And to be very honest, uh, in 2022, uh, we were coming back from COVID and the show was just starting to recover from that. But this year, it has been outstanding. The aisles have been so busy uh, to walk across the show has taken a long time because uh, there's so many people doing business, there's so much noise and activity. It's uh, really been a very positive buzz. Um, the United States is, is very uh, positive about Southeast Asia. Uh, we have a strong presence in, uh, in Indonesia, in Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, uh, the Philippines now. There's new activity taking place there. And of course, as always, we're very positive about the relationship with India. So um, for me, this is a labor of love. Um, this is my 35th year working as the president of Coleman Worldwide, uh, taking over from my dad. And, uh, uh, and every air show, one of the highlights, of course, is to meet with you. Uh, and uh, we're regular uh, readers of the publication, and we distribute it to the American companies so that they're kept appraised of what's going on in this, in this region. So uh, thank you for what you do, and uh, uh, it's great to see you again. Well, thank you so much, Tom. That was really nice. And Tom, uh, you know, Singapore is a very major region. But in addition to the companies you got, yesterday was a very exciting afternoon. And we had a lot of children and a big event here, the Endeavour Scholarship. Tell us about it. You know, that's well, going to sure. be wonderful. Thank you for that, Sajita. The, um, you know, I was blessed uh, about 10 years ago to meet a man named Al Warden. And Al flew to the moon on Apollo 15. And... Uh, uh, he spent his, his life uh, after, his, after his moon uh, mission uh, inspiring young kids uh, and getting them uh, uh, to believe in themselves and to believe in education and uh, to follow their passion. And uh, uh, in 2019 with Al, I founded the Endeavor Scholarship, the astronaut Al Warden Endeavor Scholarship. And under that scholarship, we take teams of, of high school kids to a uh, space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. And yesterday, because of the quality uh, of the education program here, because of the friendship we have with uh, Singapore, we appointed not uh, just one team of four, but two. Uh, eight students in total will be coming to uh, Huntsville, Alabama uh, to space camp next July. And we had a really positive uh, experience with those kids yesterday. And uh, uh, our ambassador, and also the uh, the one-star general that's in charge of uh, Space Command for the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, it was a really uh, inspiring to see these sharp young kids that are excited and leaders uh, in their own community. So uh, it's a labor of love. I enjoy doing what I do and, uh, and, and bringing those uh, kids to experience not only the American culture, but get to meet other kids from around the world and uh, realize how important international collaboration is. But that's wonderful, absolutely. And uh, out of the 100 plus companies who came as a part of the U.S. Partnership Pavilion, what is the feedback you have? Were they able to do their businesses here and get, uh, you know, partners and clients? Big and, and small, big and small. Uh, found a positive experience. The big companies, of course, they have established businesses, uh, offices here, but what I am, uh, I like is that, you know, even a company like L3 or Teledyne, even though they have many uh, uh, players in the region, they exhibit in the U.S. Pavilion. Why? Uh, because this show is so international, and when companies are looking for quality aviation equipment, they think about the U.S., they come to the U.S. Pavilion, and they find... Uh, 
uh, the opportunity to represent a, an American firm in, in the Philippines or Kuala Lumpur or, or anywhere in the region. So uh, uh, we had many, many people on our exhibits that were not Americans. Uh, they were the local offices or the Thai offices. Uh, but th that's why it made it such a, a, a buzz of a happening because uh, they were being visited by their regular partners and regular customers. And so, uh, uh, as I say, the big companies and the small companies, uh, the small ones found representative and agents. The, 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 the culture of trading in Singapore is obvious, and, and so uh, we find good representatives that then use this as a uh, port of entry to the rest of the region throughout all of ASEAN. Absolutely. And uh, at the end of the day, we are at the last day today, Tom. And uh, what do you carry back with you? You know, this will be an absolute... Well, just a reminder. I'm carrying it back with me, a reminder of how... Uh, special this industry is how it's a it's a family uh, feel and for me it's a family business uh, for 30 years as I said being here 40 years here but I'm carrying back uh, the reassurance that uh, that uh, uh, if you're honest and friendly and uh, uh, treat people with the respect that they should be treated that uh, there is no limitation uh, for you and uh, um, the, the, the spirit is, is positive. You know, we get wrapped up so much in uh, sometimes in the negative uh, politics or the negative news, uh, but I'm re reminded and refreshed by the idea that when people get together, sit across the table from each other, explain each other, have a meal with each other, that uh, magic happens. And there was a lot of magic that happened this week. So uh, I'm reinvigorated and I, I will be uh, off to my next show in a few few more weeks. But I was really happy to spend a full seven days here in Singapore. That's wonderful. And as always, a real pleasure to interview Tom. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to have you on ADO's chat room. Looking forward to the next show and your next interview. Inshallah. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much.